G'day guys, we've got a related rates question here today where it's saying that a cube is being increased in size such that the length of each edge is increasing at 0.1 centimetres per second. Find the rate at which the surface area and the volume of the cube is increasing when the side length is 10 centimetres. Now we're going to use related rates for this question and related rates basically take um, the chain rule and apply it to working out how two functions relate to each other. So what I mean by this is we've been given the rate at which each edge is increasing. So if we label each edge x, we've been given here dx dt. And that's going to be equal to 0 0.1. Now, what we've been asked to find is the rate at which the surface area is increasing to start with. So for A, we've been asked to find DSA, or the surface area, DT. Now the way that we use the chain rule to work out what DSA DT is, is we can say that this is equal to the derivative of surface area with respect to the side length multiplied by the derivative of the side length with respect to time. Now we can see here that if we do if we do take this multiplication of these two derivatives the dx's will cancel and we'll be able to just have the derivative of surface area with respect to time. So what we've got to do though is we've got to find, to have, make this equation work, we've got to find a function that relates surface area to the side length. Well that's quite easy. So let's go about doing that first. So we can see that the surface area of this cube here is going to be equal to, there are six sides, so six times the area of each side is going to be x squared. Okay, well that's not too complicated. So we can di differentiate surface area with respect to x. And we can say that that's going to equal 12x. Now we're trying to find the derivative or the rate of change of surface area with respect to time when the side length is 10 centimeters. So we're saying x equals 10. So what we're going to do is we're going to write our function. So this is going to be equal to dsa dx is 12x multiplied by dx dt, which we're told in the question is 0 0.1. So what we then do is we input our x value, which we know is 10. And we have 10 times 12 is 120 times 0 0.1 is just 12 centimetres squared per second. So that's our answer for question 1. Or question A, sorry. Let's go on to question B. I'll change colour. Now, question B is going to be very, very similar to question A where we are looking for the rate at which the volume is increasing. So we're looking for dv dt. And like we did with surface area, we're going to relate, we're going to take the derivative of volume with respect to the side length and then multiply it by the derivative of the side length with respect to time. So to compute this relation, what we're going to do is we're going to have to figure out a volume equation. Now, the volume of a cube or any kind of rectangular prism is length times width times height. So V in terms of X is going to be just equal to X cubed. So DV DX is going to have to be equal to 3X squared. Cool. So what we can do then is we can substitute this into here. We have our dv dx is 3x squared. 
we know our dx dt is 0 0.1 from the question. And what we're going to do is to evaluate this dv dt when x is equal to, evaluated when x equals 10, is going to be equal to 3 times 10 squared times 0 0.1. So 3 times 100 is 300 times 0 0.1 is 30. Me centimeters cubed per second. Cool. So those are our two uh, solutions for part A and part B of this question. Let's just go through how we solved it. So what we had to do is we relate um, the surface area or the volume in terms of time in terms of two functions. Now the functions have to be such that the volume or the surface area has to be in terms of a variable that is then that variable is in, we have in terms of time. So in both of these situations the dx's will cancel. So once we've computed this, and this can be dx, it can be dt, it can be um, dm, it can be d anything. But we have to have two relations where we can have the relationship of one thing in terms of another, and then the relationship of the thing that this original thing in terms of whatever our uh, objective function we're looking for is. So once we've done that, we then have to just come up with functions for surface area in terms of x and then differentiate them, or volume in terms of x and differentiate them. Once we've done that, we just input all the numbers that were given in the question and go about solving it. Not too complicated. The hardest part, I would say, is just identifying the relationships that we need for this uh, related rates part of the start of the question. So, yeah, not too complicated. I hope this video helped. If it did, give it a like, subscribe to my channel, and I'll uh, see you guys again next time.